My question sometimes is, why? Why? Some people never stop to examine the why of what motivates them to do and say and behave and have the attitude that they have because there's a why for everything. Ecclesiastes said that there's a purpose. There's a reason for everything. Every activity under the sun has a purpose and a reason. So you have a reason why you do what you do. And if you could ever examine the why, you may find there's something that can change your whole life. Your course of your life could change. You are where you are right now, not by choice, but it was your course. Some things have set you on a certain course, a certain direction, and unless you find out why you're set there and go back, you will miss the understanding of why you are where you are. You're not where you are because you just ended up here. You're where you are because of some place you started from. Your why is what got you started. When you recognize what got you started in whatever place you are, you recognize that you can also change your destiny. You can reset things. You're no longer a thermometer. You're now a thermostat. You can change the temperature. You can change the pressure. You can change the position that you are. But you got to know why. Because if you're out there, you're always defending your position. You're always defending where you are and getting angry and frustrated because of where you are. But ultimately, you can change that. But to change that, you got to find out why. What motivates you? So your why can go all the way back to the validation that you never got. And now you're projecting it on everybody else. And it makes you angry. The projector is not the image that you see. The projector is always in the camera. What you see projected on the wall is not the image. The image is in the projector. So when you see something that you don't like and it makes you angry, sometimes you're the projector. You're projecting what you don't see and don't like onto somebody else. So you got to find out your why. Why do you respond the way that you do? Why? When you look at your day tomorrow, what makes you get up and do the same thing, the exact same way? Is it taking you toward the Lord? Is it bringing you closer to your journey? If not, evaluate that. Find out why. Look back and start forgiving people. Letting stuff go. Oh, maybe somebody did something wrong to you and they hurt you and it was, they were deliberate. But you have to forgive. Because forgiveness does not set anybody else free. Forgiveness frees us. We don't know that we're burdening ourselves because we're holding and harboring unforgiveness and resentment, and hostility and anger. When you should have joy and peace and love and purpose in your life. Let it go. Find your why.